<clears throat> well, hey there. But what brings you all the way out here? You always this friendly to a complete stranger? Hmm. I suppose it's because I don't like to judge people until I get to know them. Sorry if I caught you off guard. The name's Evan. I've been out here for years now. I guess you could say that I like the peace and quiet. And the view. Well, look for yourself. It's something else. Since you took the trouble to find me, the least I can do is return the favor. Need any supplies? What's the catch? No catch. No trick. Let's just say that I've been out there, and I know that the world can be a cool and unfriendly place. So, is there anything I can help you with? Sure. Do you happen to have a spare Liberty Prime? <laughs> no? No. I'm afraid that's a bit beyond my reach. Let me see what I have. Here you go. I found this on the outskirts of Nuka World a while back. It isn't doing me any good. Well, it's been nice having a visitor. Feel free to stay for a while, and help yourself to anything else I have laying around the place. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna hang out around here and enjoy the view. Hey. Safe travels, stranger. Heck of a view, isn't it? Good luck out there, stranger. I suppose everything's got its uses, but that, I don't know, boss. <clears throat> Safe travels, stranger. We're Habologists. I'm Tula. I'm only an AHS-1 right now. But I have an alignment scheduled soon. Hi. Nobody tells me anything. They always say I'm not a high enough AHS. Don't go bothering me. Dara is who you want to see. Wearing that suit of hers. Welcome to our camp, stranger. You should go see Dara. She's out front by the mailbox.
Dara is outside. You should really talk to her first. Excellent. Welcome, stranger. We are herbologists. You may have heard of us. No? Ah, oh, well, if you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, herbology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Hubology? What is that? Before the Great War, a brilliant writer named Dick Hubble invented a process for expanding the human mind. Through the process of alignment, he was able to give his followers great mental powers. I am his direct descendant and keeper of all his secrets, collectively known as Hubology. If you are really interested in joining us, go speak to Phil about having an alignment. We can help you find inner peace and happiness. We can help you master the amazing powers of the mind. I'm always for hire if the price is right. Good. We need spacesuits, like the one I'm wearing. I'll pay you 200 caps for five of them. I've learned that there are some in the galactic zone of Nuka World. I lost two followers trying to get them ourselves. I'm hoping you'll have more luck. I'll need more than that for this job. Okay, I'll give you 250 caps. Still not enough. Driving a hard bargain, I see. Okay, 300 caps. I think you can afford more than that. All right, but 350 is my final offer. Now get me those suits. Hi. Don't take too long with those spacesuits. Don't take too long with those spacesuits.
step into your spacious private suite, equipped with all the comforts of home. And these are no dark bunkers. Your colony will see with all tech's modular construction techniques, new colonies can be established on almost any world in a matter of weeks. But life is possible underground. Welcome to Vault Arcturus Prime, a frontier colony in the year 20. To join us on a journey into the future. With Vault-Tex modular construction technique, with Vault-Tex modular construction techniques, new colonies can be established almost anywhere in the world. And these are no dark bunkers. Your colony will feature beautiful, expansive compounds where you can relax in a Step into your spacious private school. Sickness bags are available for our more sensitive customers at the entrance to the Stampede Carousel. What's up, boss? Hey, need something from me? You got something for me, boss? I think it'd be best if we went our separate ways. If you say so. See you back at home, boss.
can see the spaceship from here, just like he promised. Just sitting in that damn junkyard. So close, so tantalizing. But I digress. Do you have the spacesuits? What's that about a spaceship and a junkyard? It's the reason I need those suits. Without them, we don't have a chance to capture the ship. But enough of that for now. Do you have the spacesuits or not? What is this hubology? Before the Great War, a through the process of... I am his... Mm -hmm. If you are really interested in joining us, we can help you find... Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? I can just feel the neurodynes flooding your system. You really should get in alignment soon. Hey there. Are you ready to throw off the shackles of your neurodynes? Herbology takes commitment. A small donation of 50 caps shows your commitment to self-improvement. You will take some rads during the procedure, so make sure you're healthy before starting. Isn't the first one supposed to be free? I suppose I can do that. Have a seat in the Zeta Alignment. Let me start up the Zeta Rays. Okay. Locking on to the Neurodyne. Oh, there are so many of them. What have you been doing? Good, good. Good. The Zeta Rays are withering them. Well, some of them at least. And we're done. For now. You'll need many more treatments. Congratulations. You are now an AHS. That stands for Aligned Hub Seeker. We've taken the first step in a long journey. Here are your robes. If you need an alignment, you know where to find me. <clears throat> Our newest member. Welcome, AHS-1. Are you ready to do battle with your Neurodynes? We ask for a modest commitment of 100 caps for this alignment. You'll take a bit more rads than last time, so make sure you're healthy before taking this alignment. I thought we were friends. You wouldn't charge a friend, would you? I suppose we are friends. Okay, but this is the last time. Sit in the Zeta aligner. Let me start up the Zeta waves. Locking onto the neurotons. You seem to have gathered almost as many as I removed before. You really should be more careful about the company you keep. And we're done. For now. You'll need many more treatments. Well done, AHS-2. Of course you'll need more treatments. Neurodynes build up with the exposure to And That's why we recommend only interacting with other homologists. Last alignment, I saw unhealthy attachments to suppressors. 
very difficult to treat. However, you'll only need to donate 250 cats. Of course, the uh, uh, rad dosage is a bit higher, too. What are suppressors? Those are the people in your life that are suppressing your talents and abilities. They are riddled with neurodynes, like you used to be. Their brain waves can trigger excess neurodyne activity in you. I strongly recommend you avoid them. How do I know if someone is a suppressor? Almost everyone in the Commonwealth is a suppressor, but some are worse than others. Anyone that tried to convince you of the rightness of their cause is almost certainly a suppressor. We usually recommend limiting your contact with people who are not apologists. I am ready. Then please sit in the Zeta aligner. Let me start up the Zeta, please. Neurodimes are locked. Zeta rays are destroying them. And we're done. For now, you'll need many more treatments. You are now officially an AHS-3. Congratulations. I cannot help you. Dara has said your treatment must wait until we have achieved our goal. Once we have control of the junkyard, you can receive another alignment. Do you have my spacesuits? I need an alignment. So no suits then? How disappointing. It sounds like you can feel the repression of your neurodynes building up. Go see Phil for an alignment. Hey there. I cannot help you. Dara has said your treatment must wait until we have achieved... Do you have my spacesuits? All five. Here they are. Perfect. Here is your payment. We can proceed with the next step in the plan. I'm counting on you to help us with it. We need to take control of the spaceship in the junkyard. I know it's a lot to ask, so I'm willing to give you one of Hubology's great treasures if we succeed. Why do you want to capture the spaceship? It is central to Hubology. We are destined to make it fly. More than that, I cannot tell you. It is secret knowledge reserved for AHS-7 members. Together, we can capture that spaceship. I knew I could count on you. Let's go tell the others. Everyone gather. Form the wheel. The time has come. The hub's grand plan can enter its next important phase. All of your hard work has borne fruit. We can liberate the junkyard and take control of what we need. Thanks to our mercenary, we have the spacesuits to protect us from the robot guards. So put on these spacesuits and take up your arms. We have a mercenary to lead us into combat. They may be a bit snug at first, but they'll protect you.
armor's threats. <clears throat> You're more experienced at fighting than we are. How should we do this? When you hear me start shooting, you join the fight. We'll wait for that signal. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am the man. The spoken folks of the support. We fought a great battle today. A battle we could not have won without our newest member. But our work is not done yet. Taking the spaceship is not enough. It must be made to fly again. It must be ready to take us to our destiny. Soon you will earn the greatest reward Hopology has to offer. For now, rest and celebrate. You have earned it. Yes? I'm glad we got a fighter like you to take a spaceship. Excuse me. What a glorious battle. You were magnificent. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the hub himself. Take great care with it. I need your help for one last thing. I need to get that spaceship powered up again. But we don't have any fusion cores. I have some extra ammo for the hub's gun that I can give you if you succeed. Why do you want to fix that spaceship? It will carry us to our new home. More than that, I cannot tell you. You have not progressed far enough in your treatments. I'll be glad to help. Good. Once you get it powered up, we can work on making it space-worthy. vision is coming true.
never thought I'd live long enough to see this spaceship working. The lights! It's amazing! You've done it! Into the spaceship, everyone! We need to run a test of the system. Come inside with us and turn it on. You'll see that the hub's prophecy is true. Hey there. We are forever in your debt. Without you, we would not be on the path to redemption. The path of our destiny. Uh, <clears throat> welcome back, AHS-3. It's time for a fresh alignment. We'll be treating more deeply rooted neurodynes. You'll need to donate 500 caps. The radiation is also strong, so make sure your rads are low. How many more alignments do I need? It's hard to say. Probably until the hub's grand plan begins. No, not yet. I'll come back later. You're only an AHS-3. You're still highly susceptible.
Need something, boss? Come with me. I need your help. Yeah, okay. Sure. It happens out there in the wasteland. People disappear all the time.
liquor around here somewhere. Over, boss. Trouble? Good.
to see you kill monster. You friend? Are you okay? Why are you talking like that? Sito sorry, Sito not talk good. Sito family not talk. Sito not talk to man or lady in long time. You kill monster alone. Monster strong, but you stronger. Sito happy you kill monster. Monster hurt Sito and Sito family. What the heck are those things? Are they some sort of death claw? Death? Claw? Sito not know. Sito only know death bad and monster bad. Well, it can't hurt you anymore, Sito. No. Many more monster. No stop. Sito kill monster. New monster come. Sito kill monster again. New monster come again. Monsters not stop. Help Sito stop monsters? Maybe. Do you have any idea where they're coming from? Sito not know. New friend, follow Sito. Sito show you thing. Thing to help kill monsters. Sito, me, you, friend, family. How did you end up being raised by these gorillas? Sito, very small, when first family die. First family look like Sito. Sito not die, just walk and walk. Find zoo place, find new family. New family help Sito. Give Sito food. Give water. Keep Sito safe. Now Sito big and strong. Sito help family fight monsters. Uh, you have a lovely family, Sito. You say nice thing. Sito like new friend. Now you help Sito. Family in danger. Hide here from monsters. Here only place safe. Here have no food. Here have no water. Sito go outside to help family. Monster try to kill Sito. Sito kill many. More monsters come. Never stop. Sito scared monster hurt family. Why bring me here then? Listen to Sito. Sito have story. Story help stop monsters. Sito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Sito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monsters. Sito mad at wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man, sorry monsters hurt family. He gives Sito shiny thing. He say shiny thing help Sito stop monsters. Sito try help more, but wrinkly man die. Sito put wrinkly man in ground, but keep shiny thing. 
Now give shiny thing new friend. Help Sito. Dead man have important thing. Hmm. So it seems like the Gator Claws, the monsters, are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing, help, new friend. Do you know anything about a cloning facility around here? New friend say strange words. See, do not know what new friend want. But Sito know more about Wrinkly Man. Sito see Wrinkly Man come from Big Triangle House long time ago. Go to Big Triangle House. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. Sito come with new friend. Sito help. Can you get your family to help us? Chris, big and strong. Chris help new friend and Sito. Sito. Sito strong. Sito protect family. Dry Rock Gulch. Stop by for a photo opportunity. This big triangle house. It have door Sito never open.
this one. It seems like Dr. Hine was kidnapped and taken somewhere called the Angry Anaconda? We find that, and we can find his passcode to get into the cloning facility. Sound like name of snake from old zoo. Oh, maybe Dr. Under Giant Metal Snake. Giant Metal Snake? That doesn't make much sense. No, friend, not worry. See, don't know. It big. What word? Ride. Ride like big snake. See to see from everywhere. Very big. Very snaky. It uphill behind Sue. Maybe Doctor Man there. Good job, Sito. I knew you'd be helpful. Sito help. Sito like help, new friend. Attention parents, we still have 14 unclaimed children recovered from the funhouse. You can pick them up at the entrance to Kitty Kingdom. Due to a mix-up at Safari Adventures Animal Waste Facility, Apple juice will not be served this evening at the Four Leaf Fried Fish Restaurant. Attention, please. Today's performance of Capio and Bottlet will begin in approximately 15 minutes. Hey, what's up, boss? Attention. We're happy to announce that Mad Mulligan's minecart ride has finally reopened with stronger restraints following last year's tragedy.
Cito. You big help, Cito. Cito. are sold out. Tickets for evening showings are still available.
facility. Attention. We're happy to announce that Mad Mulligan's minecart ride has finally reopened with stronger restraints following last year's tragedy. Announce the grand reopening of our world of refreshment ride. Now featuring delicious Nuka Cola Guan.
Mad Mulligan, Miss Trixie, Sheriff Lincoln, one on ice, and Doc Foxbait are all making their rounds at Dry Rock Gold. Stop by for a photo op. A high demand, we've added a second performance of the Queen's Fund.
Ciro. New friend done? No more monsters? And they should not be coming back. Your family's safe, Cito. Cito, so happy. How Cito thank new friend. I have some friends moving in here. But if you play it cool, we can all get along. Can you do that? Cito trust you. Cito like more new friends. Before go. Here. New friend take. It better shiny thing Sito say. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Sito always remember you. Attention guests, in case of emergency, anti-venom is available at the exit for the reptile house. to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible. ...able to outbreaks, but the preparation plan is never about... Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but... Hey, what's up? Even a girl with an open. I'll take a look, sure. Purchase of a right.
It means a lot to me that you made the library a safe home. Sure. Let's take a look. It's a little bit of everything. Take a look. Anything and everything. Something for me? More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff.
Nougal World's great Halloween spectacular will begin next week. Reserve your tickets for this nighttime event at the main box office. Supporting the operators. Smartest thing a lot of us have done in our lives. world is proud to be hosting our quantum celebration. Stop by Gabby's Cafe to sample Coca-Cola's newest and most delicious flavor. Welcome to the Nuka-Cola world of refreshment. Now featuring a river of Nuka-Cola.
Mom and Dad, are you ready for a night out on the town? Then pick up an ice cold Nuka Cola Dark and experience the most thirst quenching way to unwind.
Don't leave anything behind. Hey.
ever wonder if it'd be worth trying to get one of these places up and running again? Life gauge. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. You go world in. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. You go world is ours. All of it. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Yeah, I think I like where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured you would. Take him back to Nuka World of the big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. It needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a boat, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? You sure that's wise? We just got this place back on its feet. Do you think it's wise to watch the gangs tear each other to pieces, fighting over what's left of this place? Of course you don't. So let's focus on avoiding that. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. You trust this chink guy? You ought to know by now. I don't trust anyone. But Chank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. If you're vouching for this shank guy, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah, sure. How else do you think he ended up at the top of my Christmas list? Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you got it. Heads up. What you need? Okay, boss. Welcome to the new 
Up. More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff.
o'clock. Yeah, what is...
live. Time to give you the loot. No. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of cats. Just looking to trade a little. Okay. Nice night. Sharp Let's trade some things. Of course. Right.
and it's got to pay out sometime. What? Is this damn thing rigged? Ever been to kill or be killed? Hey. Means a lot to me that you made the library. Mm hmm. I'll take a look. Sure. All the supplies, mm -hmm. money, or violence can buy. Like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. I hope you're buying. Sure, let's take a look. Murder and Need a place to stay. <clears throat> Welcome back. Looking to trade? I'll take a look, sure. You may have to date a little.
or you're responsible for that new code of minimum. Hey, Arturo. If you're looking to keep your load light, mm -hmm. let's see what you have. self sure. I'm on It's just about it. Look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. The gang certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Main shame. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long did it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. What makes you think I've been convinced? Well, if you aren't yet, you sure as hell should be. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well... I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Age brought me in to work for the overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And, despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit, and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. 
and the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from. An outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. I'm gonna need some time to think about it. Of course, I'll be here. You're the new overboss, right? You sure made an example out of Coulter. Well, honestly, I have a little help. I'll say. Paige was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry. Secret's safe with me. I think Coulter got exactly what he deserved. So, you weren't loyal to Coulter? Hell no. Coulter was a goddamn idiot. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the new cocaine. Sure, why not? This place looks like fun. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, all of the amusements and games around you are working thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. Prizes? I like the sound of that. Well then, step right up and I'll explain how you can win some. Every game in the new decade still takes the original pre-war token. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Please tell me you sell the tokens. Of course I do, but that isn't the only way you can get them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the new cave, but they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the park hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what, just to officially welcome you to the Nuka world, here's a token to get you started. How about three? As a gift to welcome the new overboss. Sure, why not? May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. Oh, don't forget to take this with you, boss. That way you can't say I never did you any favors. <laughs> you could always cut some corners and just buy the tickets. What do you say? I'll take a look. Sure. Sure, sure. Take your time.
William and Lizzie, I have a good excuse. Sure. I'd bring my kids here someday. Not for all the raiders. Yeah. Hell yeah. We find that operator recon team. Oh, God damn it. Keep your voice down. I was talking about booking the train. Look at all this candy. It's now sick. And people are actually what happens out there on the wasteland. People disappear. So you decided how you want to claim that territory?
Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you go a lot more territory. So, which gang should I have joined you once you staked your claim? The pack. Sure, sure. I'll get a stake on a string or something. Gotta let the dogs run around every once in a while, huh? That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? I'm ready. Good. So, what's the target? Wait, pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want it? Actually, I changed my mind. You got it. So, you wanna give me another talk? Mm hmm I wanna change the job. Sure thing. Let me talk to them. Works for me. Which gang should you got it. Now, are you ready to decide? What were those target group manor? Taffington Boathouse, Green Top Nursery. Again, I can't. Now, are you ready? To... I'm ready. Good. So... Mm -hmm. Yep, that place will do. So. To get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're gonna want to do before trying to run them off. Scare them good, boss. Someone there?
coming up.
We've got goods. Sounds good. Hey, you. Hey. Something I can do for you? Are you the one in charge around here? About as much as anyone, sure. Now you want to tell me what it is you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Fine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. You want this place? Listen, not trying to piss you off here, but I... But I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Oh, that's... That's how it's going to... Fine. Take it. Place... Place is all yours. All right. Hey there. I'm going. Going. Sure. Ain't too bad. We gotta get supplies coming in. Head back and tell them we're good to go here. Well, well. Rumor going around is that some big bad raider boss strolled into the Commonwealth and talked a group of settlers right off their land. <laughs> Not too shabby. It's a damn good start. I'll make sure you're cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, now that we've got part one on the books, we can move on to part two. Provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in fist top. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop the kneecaps? Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So, which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? The operator. I'll send the word along. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. 
joint called Nordhagen Beach, I think is close enough to work. Could be a good target, though I'd need to check my notes, of course. So, what's the target? Huh. Was that? Huh. I think that one's your territory, boss. You're sure that's the one you want to hit? Does that matter? Only if you want to keep control of it. Targeting the settlement for a job is going to break whatever connections you might have had to the place. Worth taking a moment to consider how much you like having that spot under your thumb. So... That the target? That was the target? Of course, boss. So, to get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't approved to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up some. Let them know we mean business. Plus, having an outpost nearby gives us another option. Claiming the airwaves. Building a new world radio transmitter at an outpost within range of the target will let them know we're closing in on them. Your pit boy map should show you which outposts are close enough to serve. And if none of that works, well, I suppose you could always try paying one of them to convince the rest. Plenty of ways for you to skin this cat. Have fun. Hey, you. Hey, you uh, want to tell me what you're doing here? I'm here to make you an offer. This place will supply me and my friends in Nuka World. Caps, food, whatever you got. In exchange, we won't bother you. Oh, I, I don't know. A lot of hard work goes into this place. Can't just give it to you. Listen, you're going to start working for me now, right? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. All right. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. Now please, get the hell out of here. How about you? That's all. Hi. Right. You'll get your supplies, all right? Just leave the place alone.
Hey, at least it's on his word. You have some sort of medical problem here, or are you just... Yeah. There's a lot of yapping about wiping us out. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors. Shank. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mayhem and destruction is what I'm thinking. shreds personally. Bingo. Only language raiders in the Commonwealth understand. Force. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly.
everyone in this shit show brought to me on a plate. You all deaf or something? Where? territory and live you give me one good reason i should slice you open and eat your heart right here you listen closely this land is ours so turn around and crawl back under whatever rock you came from right now whoa whoa easy take it take it easy all right sure just uh you know, place was a shithole anyway Heard some rumbles, this one didn't get you either. Figured I shouldn't be surprised. Those rays won't be causing us any more problems. That's what I've been hearing. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping waiters happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities. Just like any other settlement. That they've got some things to keep them entertained. And that their food's taken care of. Which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. I want to know more about managing the outpost's basic necessities. Day-to-day -day needs. They're pretty straightforward. Just need to make sure you've set up solid defenses. Plenty of beds under cover. And enough clean water to go around. Not much more to it than that. Was there anything else? Tell me more about providing food for the outpost. So, managing your outpost's food can get a little tricky. No one ever joined a crew to dig in the dirt. 
So you want to make sure you've convinced enough settlements to supply your gang. People at the outpost can farm in a pinch, but they sure as hell won't be happy about it. Now, if you're ever wondering if your outpost has enough food, you should take a look in your pit boy. It ought to have a page that'll show you everything your outpost currently needs. Food included. If they're low on grub, it's probably time to get a new settlement supplying you. Or you could always drop some food direct in their workshop if it comes to it. Now, was there something else? What can you tell me about entertainment for the outpost? Well, it's a damn handy way to keep folks distracted if you're lacking in certain basics. Constructing pick-me-up stations or getting one of your crew working on a booze still will certainly help lift your outpost's <laughs> spirits. And if the place has got a Nuka World transmitter powered up, you can construct amplifiers to help as well. Anything else I can answer for you? I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. If you've ever got more questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your arm. No better tool to tell you what your outpost may be hurting for. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking, with the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Save you a trip any time you want to run a job. You just let me know if that's something that interests you. Be good to make some trouble in the Commonwealth again. So, is there anything I can do? I want you to head to an outpost. Alright. Where am I going? Suppose I better get a move on it.
Hey, Shank. Hmm. The place is looking good, boss. Everything a gang of low lives could ask for. So, you ready for the final piece of the puzzle? Ready as I'll ever be. Good to hear. Because what you've made is the foothold to solidify our place. Our outfit's gonna need some real numbers. Two more outposts carved from the Commonwealth ought to do the trick. Get all that together, and, well, we'll have a real base of power on our hands. With that kind of clout, we'll be able to start setting up dealers at our outposts. Get to selling stuff like real damn towns. When we keep expanding from there, we'll even be able to set up spots where the locals can come drop off tribute. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, you'll want to start by claiming another two outposts. You just let me know whenever you want to get rolling on those jobs. So, boss, what's the plan? Nothing for now. All right. I want to trade a few things. Got a chase. Shank. Hey there, boss. You looking for me to set up a couple jobs so we can start claiming those two outposts? Or did you need something else? I want you to head to an outpost. Sure thing, boss. Where am I going? Need a little direction here, boss. Answer some shoot. Remind me, what's the best way to keep out? Well, I'm sure beyond that, and if you want, uh -huh. it's got a page with all the... Uh -huh. And lastly, so... What do I need to take? Well, the bigger and more fortified, uh -huh. but using tools from the operators, building a nuclear world transmitter within range of the settlement you're trying to target, plus... You had any other... That was it. Got it. Something else I could do for you? Nothing for now. All right. Don't care much with good neighbor. That place. Nothing much. The farm's not much. But it's something.
You know how the bottling plant has been stuck full of new owners for as long as we've been here. I personally know at least three jackasses who got themselves killed trying to loot the place. Anyway, that ain't a problem no more. Our new overboss has been good to his word and taken over the plant, meaning the whole friggin' park is ours. It's all ours, man. At the overboss's orders, the disciples are now running the show out there. If you're on good terms with them, well, maybe they'll share some caps with you. If you're not on good terms, well, you're lost, man. I have to tell you all about the time I got my name. So this one time, a long time ago, I'm enjoying myself, you know, out the comment that's all. A few bits, a few drinks, a whole lot of jokes. I make a friends having a good time. Now, this one guy. Hey, Shank. Look who it is. Got something for me? Looking to run a job. Yeah. Yeah. A new outpost. I want to get one set up. Got it. So how'd you want to approach it? Talk them into leaving yourself? Or you and the crew putting some lead in that? I'll go have a word with them. Yeah. Sure. And which crew should the pack. I'll send word along. So. You gotta want to pick some other target? Or another Ugh. Let's try another target. Sure thing. So. <laughs> you all mm-hmm. want to pick some other target? Or another job? Let's do this later. Your call. Something I can do for you? Uh, I was hoping you could arrange a job for us. I'm looking to have some words with a little... Auditing. Let me think about it. I'm a... Boss, what can I do for you? I'm a... you got... I want to convince a new settlement to start coffee. Audit. Let me think about it. I'm in no hurry. Hey, Shank. Hey, boss. Need something? Looking to run a job works for me. It's time we took sure thing. I'll run them off. Sounds like sure. And which cr- uh-huh. The pack. You got it. So. Uh, mm-hmm. Want to pick some other target? Or another job? I want to change the job. All right. I want to claim another. And did you want to talk? I'll convince. Got it. And which crew? Uh huh. The operators. Deal. So. Mm-hmm. Right. Huh. I think that one's your territory, boss. You're sure that's the one you want to hit? Don't you ever question me. Meant no offense. So, standard run job. You can scare the hell out of them. Or try to buy them off. How are you? Hey, you. Thumbs in the damn radio station. Getting closer by the day. What do you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. But if you leave right now, I promise you, we won't have any problems. You want this place? Listen, 
I'm not trying to piss you off here, but I, I'm not sure that's going to work. This is home. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Oh, that's, that's how it's going to, fine, take it, place, place is all yours. yours. Just one more outpost to play. You want me to set up that job you just said? So, what do you need? Looking to run a job. You got it. A new outpost. Got it. I'll convince them to. Yeah. And which crew? Disciples. Done. So. the target just wanted to make sure so standard run of job you can scare the hell out of them or try to buy them off whatever you need to do to get them off their land claiming additional outposts within range of the target will also help me convincing them to go better but that's no big picture something to consider as you plan out future conflict Hey. Thugs in this damn radio station. Getting closer by the day. What do you want? There's a gang of raiders coming for this place. Mine. You want th this place? Listen, I'm not trying to piss you off here, but I... Uh -huh. Look, I'm trying to help you here. You need to go. Now. Oh! That's... That's how it's gonna... Fine. Take it. Land's yours, okay? I'm going. I'm going.
Hey, Shane. Boss, it just got word. We need to get back to the world. Now, the pack has turned on us. Mason didn't like how you were handing out new territory. Now him and his whole gang have gone and stormed the local world's power plant. The other bosses are waiting on you before they move in. You need to get back there before these turncoats do something stupid. Well, something else stupid. Mason's done pretty well up there. I knew that nut job would turn on us sooner or later. So, are we storming the place or what? Both of you shut up. We're about to find out. The boss is here. Mason's gathered up his animal goons and took the power plant. That asshole thinks he'll get away with this. He's been skinning alive and savor every minute of it. Bunch of damn savages. Should put a knife in Mason's eye. Calm down and start at the beginning. I'll be calm once I get Mason's blood on my hands. But if you want a story, why? While you were gone, word came back from the Commonwealth that you're favoring the disciples and the operators. Well, surprise, surprise, Mason wasn't exactly thrilled to hear the news. He and his gang forced their way into the power plant. Now they've got the entire place locked down. We can't let him get away with this, boss. And we all want to crack at those loonies. Damn right we do. Look. It's your play. We'll follow you anywhere. But you have to swear to us that Mason pays for this with his life. I hate to lose the pack. Isn't there some other way? They're already lost. Mason killed some of our own. And our code says he needs to pay for what he's done. I didn't build all this up just to watch him tear it down. My thoughts exactly. Time to clean the house. We got your back, boss.
I'm going to trust you that we're here. Sure could use a drink.
Hey. What's up, Bob? Look alive, Gage. Nuka World. All this is goddamn beautiful. It sure is. I haven't seen any place like it in a long time. It ain't just the lights, boss. Now that Mason is gone, and most of the pack has been taken out, there's not much left to stop us. We made one hell of a mark on the Commonwealth. There ain't a soul from here to Diamond City that hasn't heard of us. And despite what happened at the power plant, the rest of our gangs are stronger than ever. I took a big chance helping you take down Coulter. Glad that paid off. You know the real difference between him and you? The reason that the rest of us are behind you? You were willing to bleed for us. You put your neck on the line to get us ahead in this shitty world. And believe it or not, that means something to us. Uh, okay. I can tell you one something. What is it? I'm serious. I don't have an angle here, boss. I meant every word I said. So I guess the next move is yours to make. With the power of the park back online, you might want to cover old ground. See if you can get into some of the places that were cut off. Or maybe hit up Shank and take out a few more Commonwealth settlements, if you've left any standing. Oh, and of course, you can always lend Mags or Nisha a hand. I'm sure they have plenty of jobs to run. What about the rest of the pack? If there's any left, they're like wild dogs off the leash. They'll be pissed about Mason. Looking to get even. Sounds like we still have plenty of trouble to get into. I guess we better get started. Then I guess that does it, boss. You point the way and the gangs will follow. There's plenty of caps out there just waiting to be taken. And as long as you keep bringing them in, we'll have your back.
Ignition. Not bad, boss. Not bad. You made good on your promise. And we've got one less worthless gang to give you up as boys. A shame. I'd love to see the look on Mason's face one more time before you put him down. Some alpha. Leading his pack into a death trap. It had to be done. No arguments here. So tell me. You've been over. Mm -hmm. You claimed the rest of the park, got us out in the Commonwealth, and now Nuka World's lit up like a Christmas tree. Was it worth it? This is the life. Wouldn't trade it for the world. You bet it is. And with this place more or less operational, all we've got to do is sit back and profit. I only regret wasting all those plans I have for Gage. Although I'm sure he's bound to screw up sooner or later. You just let me know if you ever tire of him. And for now, I hope he knows just how lucky he is. Sure is. It ain't just the lights, boss. Now that me, we made sure and despite, I took a bit. Uh -huh. You know the real difference you were willing to do, and believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gage. 
You're welcome. Piss me off. And I'll s so I guess with the power uh -huh. or maybe hit up Shank. Oh, cool. Sounds like we still have and I guess that there's plenty of time we split if you say so see you back at home boss I wouldn't get for a good Smith drink. <clears throat> Ready to head back out? Not now. Well, make up your mind.
And it says, get up, sir. Let's say it. Hey there. It says, that fucking is the human flesh. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Time to hit the road. About time. I was getting bored. What you've done, huh? Fig. So, you ready to get this show on the road? I say, where are we headed? <clears throat> I trusted you once. Never again. Don't test my patience. Heads up. Need something? Yeah, sure. I'll trade with you. Crap, are you going to carry? Look alive. Yeah, what? Look alive. Well?
not much for conversation. Ain't the big bad over, boss. Shouldn't have shown up a year ago, huh? No need to worry, boss. We've got your back. Operator's got no tolerance for dead weight. Those who can't. Mags, hey. I have to hand it to you over, boss. Things have progressed nicely. The park's on its feet again. We're finally set up in the Commonwealth. The pack being shown their way out of existence was certainly a pleasant surprise. I suppose Gage wasn't wrong to put so much faith in you. You've certainly earned your place here. Now don't go getting all mushy on me, Max. I'm not sure I can handle any tears. Rest assured, there will be no tears. I'm merely stating fact. Because what it took to get where you are now, the burned bridges, the salted earth, there is no going back. Like it or not, you're one of us. A cutthroat. A killer. A raider. But, as luck would have it, it would seem that this was the life you were meant for. Dang! I was hoping I could be a pony. Sorry, boss. Take it from experience. There's no use in fighting who you are. You can only either let your nature consume you, fall to booze and chems like the rabble around this place, or you can embrace it, let it drive you. So, with that in mind, I hope you'll appreciate the earnestness with which I mean this. Welcome home, Overboss. Here is to a bright future. Gotta say, I'm more and more pleased to be dying the gauntlet. wondering when you were gonna come see me. Heard you're collecting toys to help you mark blah, blah, Well, blah, blah. ours is, without it. A doubt, the finest little piece of hardware you've ever laid your eyes on. Sure, she may be based off some shitty operator tech, but a little Dixie love and some fine tweaking go a long way. Let's just say, them fever blossoms ain't no joke. Mix them with just the right ingredients, makes people mad in the hornet's nest. Perfect for convincing any meddlesome settlers to rip each other apart. Oh, so it's like an instant play date. I like how you think, boss. Only wish I could watch the show myself. So just before you your good side, that means you can like this. Bad boss.
You made good on your promise, and we've got one less worthless gang to divvy up the spoils. A shame. I'd love to see the look on Mason's face one more time before you put him down. Some alpha. Leading his pack into a death trap. It's like dealing with some rotten kids lashing out for attention. Not a bad comparison. The kids part is dead on. So tell me, you've been over boss for a while now. Followed through on your promises. You claimed the rest of the park, got us out in the Commonwealth. And now Nuka World's lit up like a Christmas tree. Was it worth it? That's my business. Not up for sharing, I see. Well, I got what I wanted for now. So I suppose I'll let you keep your little secrets. I only regret wasting all those plans I had for Gage. Although I'm sure he's bound to screw up sooner or later. You just let me know if you ever tire of him. And for now, I hope he knows just how lucky he is. Smarter than the last boss. I'd love to see the look on Coulter's face after what you've done. You should have kept his head. Nisha was right about you. Is still left in the redemption system. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. <sighs> Time to put on a show. Hell yeah! No better way to earn a raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. Too fast. Losing my touch. Showing the operator the good life. Respect around here. You gotta earn it. Of course. Head it over to you. Oh, it's a hard Hey there. Overboss. A pleasure. Shank said you might need some tools to. Ease relations with the people of the Commonwealth. Well, you've come to the right place. I've put together a couple of toys that should make getting what you want out of those rubes easier. <laughs> Only thing we ask in return is that you remember the operators when you're handing out new territory on the other side of the mountains. I'll think about it. That's all I ask. So, first up, something to manipulate a target. It's a homemade distillation brewed to mimic human flight pheromones. Toss one of these grenades at the feet of your target and convincing the wary settler suddenly becomes a much simpler affair. Now, to function effectively, I had to make the formula precise. So it's not going to work on people in any of the big towns like Bunker Hill or Diamond City, nor on caravaners. But for your purposes, getting settlements out in the Commonwealth it ought to give you a serious edge. Stink bombs. Lovely. Just give them a try first, Overboss. I think you'll enjoy the results. 
Here. Only had enough to make the one locally. But you can take the recipe as well, should you find yourself wanting more. So, the other trick up our sleeve is a little more broad spectrum than the grenades. Gulp down a couple lungfuls, and anyone you speak to will be far more apt to give you what you want. Plus, I've winnowed down the addiction risk to near zero, so no need to fear repeat usage. Here, ingredients for that one have been tricky to find, but between that and the grenade, you should have no problem getting at least one settlement under your control before you have to brew up your own. And just remember us when you're crushing those poor settlers underfoot, hmm? Anyone who goes up against us, no more hit them. We'll take care of them. Back around here, you gotta earn it. Of course. Bags, William, and Liz. All you have to do is Need something? Supporting the operators.
Yes? Excuse me. I'm sure I've got something you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I've got. Got another one coming through the gauntlet, boss. Bridge is waiting for you. Guess you heard the alarm, huh? Well, you know the deal. You wanna take down another worthless wastelander? <sighs> Time to put on a show. Hell yeah! No better way to earn a raider's respect than kicking some ass in front of a crowd. Just head for the arena whenever you're ready, boss. Like the work never ends, but I'll get it done somehow. When people see the lights, they're bound to get all sorts of stuff. Joe and the operators are good.
of stuff, and I'm just laughing. I'm laughing, I'm taking my shot. Now, I'm so drunk, and I mean so drunk.
more before we yeah.
Boss, I, I can't believe it. You killed the raiders. All of them. I have to ask, why? Does it really matter? You're free now. I guess not. I'm sure you had your reasons. I've thought about this day for a long time. Dreamed about it, really. Though I never thought I'd see that dream come true. Now that it has, I'm left with a question that I don't know the answer to. What happens next? What do you want to happen? I think we should keep this place going, like the way it used to be. Only now, we can use the money we bring in to make our lives better. Before you go, there's one last thing I need to say. Thank you. Sincerely, from all of us. Thank you. Wherever the road takes you, know that you'll always be welcomed back here in Nuka World. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to figure out a way to safely remove these collars. Not looking for trouble, just there's some good deals. Hey, Chip, you really did it. You got the power plant up and running and everything. The park sure is a sight. The boss comes calling. What's your pleasure today? What have you got? The medicine you need. Uh, not interested. Whatever you want, boss.
Starport Nuka Museum. Some diagnostics while you're taking it. Take your time. Now you can take a few more hits. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of cash. It is hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but the preparation plan is never a bad idea. What I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink. Walkins wearing me out. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? I have so much data on the world. Falls the atom bombs. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Plenty of 
folks want to make life hard for people just trying to survive. Something useful, I hope. Hey there. You want to do some trading? I'll take a look, sure. Let me know what you'd like. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? I've got a few minutes to browse. Always have. Right. to trade let's see what you got you break it
Hey. Well? Yeah, sure. I'll trade with you. Alone. Wanna do something fun? Run the bases. Sell everything! Skip pack! Let's see what you have. Here you are! There's gotta be something valuable inside to justify all this protection. Doc Weathers is guaranteed to patch up any... Yeah, see what's wrong with me, Doctor. Tell me a problem. No other complaints. Take better care of yourself. <laughs> Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. <sighs> Good spot to take a break. Hey again, step right up. Little bit of everything from all over. Let's see what you have. You got the caps, I got the goods. You start collecting antiques. Better keep your iron strapped on. Daisy. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. 
Now you're here to trade. Let's see what you got. It's a little bit of everything. Talk about guns, or maybe you want to... Let's see what you got. Something for 